Jim Huang was a biology major at the prestigious National Taiwan University, but recently switched courses to study electrical engineering instead. For many young people in Taiwan, fields related to the semiconductor industry offer the most promising career paths. Taiwan's technology industry is steadily growing, so I think today's graduates or young people will not have much problem finding jobs. In the last two decades, Taiwan's chipmaking prowess has turned it into a powerhouse of the global semiconductor supply chain. TSMC has been the backbone behind that meteoric rise. But recent plans to expand operations in the US and move some manufacturing offshore is raising fears about the impact it will have on the industry in Taiwan. Huang remains upbeat about prospects in the future. The R&D team that masters the core technology will not move to the US. So in the short term, it won't fully master TSMC's core technology. Thank you very much. President Donald Trump, however, says the most advanced chips in the world will now be made in America. Taiwan also faces another challenge, a decline in students enrolling in chip-related fields. Tens of thousands of positions for careers in the industry are unfilled. With TSMC's plans to expand production in the US, coupled with a lack of interest among young people, the future of Taiwan's semiconductor industry is being questioned. At a time of heightened geopolitical tensions, this also raises concerns about the future of Taiwan itself. The US fears China could control the global chip supply chain if it seizes Taiwan. Beijing claims the island and doesn't rule out taking it by force. In recent months, it's stepped up its military assertiveness nearby. Taiwan's semiconductor industry is sometimes referred to as a silicon shield, ensuring Washington's protection given its strategic importance. But in many ways, this expansion of manufacturing outside of Taiwan, it doesn't change the calculus that the Taiwan government should be considering. So pressure from the United States to expand its investment, investment in its own defense, that doesn't change for the Taiwan government. Besides pressure on Taiwan to increase its defense spending, Taiwanese chip exports to the US also face the threat of tariffs of up to 100 percent. Some experts say diversification of the supply chain is inevitable, but it casts doubt on the future of the most important sector of Taiwan's economy. Will Wayne Williams, TRT World, Taipei.